For red and green, red has his hand pointing up into the air, while for blue version, red is holding a Pokeball. His hand is pointing up into the air, as you can see, for red and green. And for blue version, he holds a Pokeball. I want you to look at this for a couple of seconds. Now look at this. Notice anything different? Notice that the water is squiggly in blue version, while in red and green, it's not squiggly. And notice that the flowers are really tiny. The grass in red and green is very light. It's pretty pixely. For blue version, however, it's even lighter and it's not as pixely, it's more detailed. The trees in red and green are circular shaped. While in blue version, they are not that circular. They are more tree shaped. For red and green versions, the signposts have two legs, while for blue version, it only has one leg. And it's attached to, to a hanging, it's hanging post, while for red and green, it's just built upon it. Also notice that the fences have light tops. In blue version, they have dark tops. Take a look at the windows. They are purely white and are square shaped for red and green, while in blue version, they are a bit more rounded and there is clear shading on the windows. Unlike red and green, which has just white windows, this has shading on the windows. For the Japanese releases, the, the mocha marts are called shops, while for the English releases, they're called marts. For the Japanese games, the currency is yen, as you can see right here. For the international releases, the currency is polka dollars. Gym leaders have names above their photos, while in the international versions, they do not. They're just simply numbers and photos. Tall grass in green version and red version are more U-shaped. Well, for blue version, they are more V-shaped. As you can see, they're outward stretched like a V. While here, they aren't that stretched and they're more like a U. This is green version. And this here is blue version.